when we started the last day off, guys, went to pull out of the field and the marker hit the tank and punctured a hole in it. So I shoved some towels and a glove in there, trying to get the, not let it all leak out. This last field, I'm probably just gonna run with the fertilizer that's left in there. A little lower on fertilizer starter than the rest of the fields, but we'll put more out when we side dress, I guess. Since we got that hole in the tank, I didn't go home and fill up. I just came on out here and started playing with what we had left in the planter. Which, if we run out of fertilizer halfway across, that's okay. We're almost out now. Um, Abby's gonna come pick me up in a little bit. I gotta run back and get more seed. Cause I'm just running out what was left from Burdines. We got about six acres done so far, but we're. We're getting very close to being low on seed. So she's gonna come get me, take me to get seed, and then she's gonna take the boys to swimming, and I'm gonna come back here and knock this out. Shouldn't be too late of a night tonight, hopefully. Get this done and we'll be done for the year. Starting to do the seed shuffle. Running low. I think Abby's on her way, so that's all right. Kids out here doing some track. All done with the shuffle. Too low. Then just call her quits till Abby gets here to pick me up. Got seven and a half acres done, so got about 18 and a half to go. So we'll grab enough seed for that. Don't want to put too much in there, but we gotta finish up. We need eight bags to finish up. I'm gonna grab nine and we'll spread it out. If we have a little left over, that's okay. But yeah, that's the plan. We need nine bags. We need to split it between the 12 rows, so. That'll get the job done. Now here's where the marker hit it, punctured it. Pretty good hole there. Took a glove to get it from slushing around while I was driving over here, but tank's pretty much empty now, so there's not much point. I don't know if I can patch that. I'm hoping I can knock it out, try and patch it somehow. For now, I'll have to find a new tank, which probably isn't super easy to find, so. Hopefully I can just patch it. If I get it knocked out flat, it wouldn't be that big of a hole, but. Old planter definitely needs a cleaning now. Got 28 all over everything. I want to leave it like that, let all that stuff rust, like row four did. Yeah, no good. No good at all. Had to happen right on the last field here. Whatever, we're gonna get done planting today anyhow. Just the last 20 acres is gonna be about 15 gallons short of uh, 28 I can try and put I'll try and put more on when we side dress it I did spread some urea out here so it shouldn't really need it as much as the other fields that had the rye on it but we'll see we'll see what happens say so digging in tilled up ground is a lot easier right where we want it to be Right about an inch and a half, two inches. Oop, that one just fell in the hole I pulled out, but... Good depth. Good depth. Let's remember to set those back down to like 12 when, when I'm done with this field, because we're going to go back to no-till. Almost all no-till next year. Well, I guess we're almost all no-till this year, too. We'll see. If we pick up some more ground, we'll probably till that up. It's kind of nice to start with a clean slate on fields that we haven't done before, but 
All our normal fields, all no-till next year. Hey dudes. Hey. Hi. You guys ready for swimming? Yep. yep. You gonna do really good? Uh-huh. Last load of the year here. Last time loading her up. Get her done. Back to what we started with, the G08R52. That's my favorite hybrid. Just seems really reliable. It has really good stock strength and stands really good throughout the year. So I was thinking about it that I can load up the rest of the fertilizer I got in that tank into the sprayer and just come out and spray it over the top here. That wouldn't be too much different than what we're doing with the planter. This planter just drops it behind the wheel anyhow. So I could either put the Y drops on and Y drop it like I do mid season or see if I could just spray it with the nozzles. I don't know what the rules are with that. If I can just use my standard nozzles to spray 28 or not. Still only be running 15 gallons an acre or so is what I do with the water when I'm spraying. But I don't know if the 28 would plug us up. Alright, I'm gonna finish getting this loaded up and we're gonna get to work. Rose keep plugging up with all the corn stocks. I guess the gauge wheels are a little aren't quite as tight up to the seat plate as the seat. I'm gonna have to completely go through this thing this winter. I mean, it's still a really good planter, but just need some love. Get back at it. Well, Abby brought us some dinner. Go we'll eat some food real quick and then we'll finish up. We're at about 17 and a half acres, so still got nine or so to go. Then we gotta take this home. We're all done for the year. We did it. It was a battle. You can see where it kept plugging up the dark lines. It did it a lot. Probably need to make some adjustments to the planter to tighten the gauge wheels up against the seed block. The seed uh, blades a little bit, but we're done. Done for the year. Pretty damn good year so far. Pretty smooth. Took us a while to get going, but once we did, we 
knocked everything out pretty fast. Uh, ready to go home, relax, take a couple days off, and then we'll get to doing other stuff. So we're gonna come out here and probably spray some fur, spray the rest of the fertilizer off, and start cleaning things up once once everything starts coming up. Damn good spring. Damn good. Thanks for watching. Thanks for going with us all spring. We'll see you next time. See you guys.